Children held tarantulas and snakes slithered on arms and portage today. The Wildlife Festival presented Wildlife Americas and a bird of prey flight demonstration at the PCU Center. Shane McConnell is director of marketing and sponsorship for the festival and explains why they're making the show. The reason we're doing this is mainly to highlight some of the animals that do need our help in our own backyard. So everyone knows that you know pandas and tigers and lions and everything needs help all overseas, but not really anyone sure about the animals in our own backyard. And that's kind of the whole point behind the Wildlife Festival is to put a, put a spotlight on those animals that do need our help. McConnell says birds from North, Central and South America are featured. He adds the animals include both endangered and potentially endangered species. He notes hawks, eagles and owls flew throughout the crowd, saying people are leaving happy and they're glad for the good turnout. Al Drysdale saw the show and describes his reaction. I think it's awesome. I love birds of prey. Yeah. And to see them up close like this is really cool. We have two shows that run throughout the day. We have our uh, Wild America show, which highlights some of the really cool animals found throughout North America, South America, and Central America. A lot of these animals people have never heard of. Mostly reptiles. We do have mammals, amphibians, everything. We also have a bird of prey flight demonstration, which is really, really cool. It features uh, birds of prey from all over North and Central and South America. But anyway, these guys are packed Noah was present and shares his favorite animal. The bald eagle. Hawks, eagles, owls, you name it, and they've also been flying throughout the crowd. So we've had birds flying right through people's hairs. It's been pretty crazy. For Portage Online News, I'm Mike Bloom.